Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome and greetings. It's good to have you for a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thanks for joining me here today. I want to kind of pick up where we left off uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about how uh, the, the, the impact of the uh, of the things that are around us, uh, what what we allow in our lives, people, the environment that's around us, and and we're, we're we're talking about the impact that that could have on your relationship with God. Well, today's scripture uh, kind of takes us to the next step. So I I really didn't want anyone to think that I was leaving you hanging yesterday because that's that was not the intent, but. This devotion kind of builds on what we talked about yesterday. And I want to take you to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. So there's a lot of twos in there. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. And Paul is giving a lot of instruction and some great advice to a young pastor named Timothy. And here's what he has to say, and I think we'd apply this to our lives as well. It says, run from anything that stimulates youthful lusts. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. All right. I, um, I love this really practical advice that Paul gives to Pastor Timothy. And I think that Paul also, through the Holy Spirit, uh, gives this advice to us. Uh, first of all, I think we need to start running away from things that could harm us spiritually. Uh, in, in fact, Paul even says, run away from those things that kind of stimulate the youthful lust. In other words, Paul's saying, look, if you've got some things in your life or you come across something that, that's even at the beginning stages of bringing out some things in your life that do not belong, do not try to manage it. Do not try to see how close to the fire you can get without getting burned. Do not try to play with it. Paul says run from it. And I think that's a good piece of advice for us here today. If there's something in your life that kind of strikes the match uh, and potentially could create a fire that is damaging to your spiritual life. Paul says, when you recognize that at the beginning stages, run from that thing. Don't even mess around with it. But Paul doesn't stop there. He also tells us not only those things that we need to avoid, but he tells us those things that we need to pursue. So we run from this and then we run to what? Well, it says that we need to pursue righteous living, we pursue faithfulness, we pursue love, and we pursue peace. Now, all those things are the exact opposite of the stuff that could harm us spiritually. And so our mission is not just to try to avoid bad stuff. That's like, well, now what do I do? And this is where a lot of people get it wrong because we think that our lives are nothing but avoiding stuff. But your life is not just about avoiding bad things. It's about also pursuing the good things. And to have one without the other is unhealthy in our walk with God. And so I think the Lord would remind us, hey, pursue those things that are righteous. Pursue those things like faithfulness. Pursue love. Pursue peace. Those are the things you need to be going after. Not those things that could trigger you. Not those things that could bring you down spiritually. Pursue the things that could bring you up spiritually. And then Paul closes this verse our verse today with uh, this great instruction. Enjoy the companionship of those who call upon the Lord with sincere hearts, with pure hearts. And I really want to encourage you to pursue companionship with people who are good for you spiritually. Pursue people, enjoy friendships, social media, communicate with people that way, with folks that will build you up spiritually. Not people that are all about drama, not people that are going to tempt you to compromise in your walk with God. And you know what? You don't need 2,000 friends, okay? I got 2,000 friends on Facebook. Really? Uh, maybe you just need a few friends that can build you up spiritually. These are the things that we should pursue. 
And these are the things that we should enjoy. So today, don't just run away from those things that could trigger some negativity in your life and some harm to your spiritual life. Pursue things like faithfulness and love and peace and and, and especially enjoy companionship with people that are all about that part of your life. All right, got to let you go. Thanks for joining me. We love you. We will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.